Hey, it's Zoe with Health Talk. Are you finding out that the Affordable Care Act isn't so affordable? Or maybe you're just now realizing that preventative care really means take this pill for the rest of your life. Is this you? Your energy is low, you eat a poor diet, you spend most of your days sitting, and you suffer from other health problems too? Well, it's time to do something about it. Learn from experts in health and wellness, and finally, take control of your health. Join ageless health author Dr. Tom Rosell, D.C., and guest speakers at the Angelica Film Center Mosaic for age Health 2016, maximizing the fountain of your youth. Thursday, October 13th from 5 to 9 p.m. Listen up. This event will change your life. Registration is just $59 and you'll learn to apply key concepts right away to begin living your life without pain, drugs, or surgery. Register now. Call 703-698-7117. That's 703-698-7117. Or visit agelesshealth2016.com. That's agelesshealth2016.com. The information provided on Dr. Tom Rosell Live by Dr. Tom Rosell DC, interview guests, show co-hosts, or substitute hosts is not intended or implied to be a substitute for professional medical advice, diagnosis, or treatment. It is for general information purposes only. Information from this broadcast should not replace the appropriate consultation and examination process by a licensed physician. Always consult your own physician prior to changing any current medical directive or prescription. Dr. Tom Rosell Live, right now on 105.9 FM and AM 630 WMAL. Welcome to Dr. Tom Rosell Live. This is Dr. Tom Rosell Live, but not in studio today, and we're going to tell you where. I have a little bit of a surprise for you, but perhaps you've had a problem, and you've tried, you've applied, you've done all kinds of things and come up with the same old, same old, you know, nothing that really works. Well, here's an opportunity. Let's put the fire out. Give me a call, 888-630-9625. That's 888-630-9625. Let's talk about things that you want to clear up and put a little spin that's different than what you're normally doing. So I'm not in studio today, and I'm still in town, and so where am I? Well, I have the privilege and opportunity to broadcast you from the Ruston YMCA. That's right, the YMCA, and it's home to me because I grew up in the Y when I was a kid in Jamestown, New York, and spent virtually every day as uh, probably up until junior high school or even beyond that, and it's one of these places that gives a benefit and a service to our community far superseding most other organizations. We're going to talk about that, and later on in the program, we're going to have a guest, uh, um, Joan Anderson, who's this, uh, Assistant Director of Membership here at the YMCA, and I'm just really excited to be here, and it's, uh, it's wonderful to see the facility, and we're going to explain a little bit about that and what they've got going on. But in the meantime, we're going to talk about a very important subject today. We're going to talk about high blood pressure. And it's uh, going to be the topic of a program that we're going to have in-house this Wednesday evening, the 21st of September at 7 p.m. at the Rizal Center for Healing. Dr. Bryce Miller will be your presenter. Unfortunately, Dr. Miller was unable to be with us today, but he will be there on Wednesday and giving you the skinny, if you will, on blood pressure problems. The program is Control Blood Pressure Without Drugs, and it's totally possible. So many of you are on medications and have been told to stay on them forever and without any hope of ever getting off them. But you don't have, uh, the question's never been answered why the blood pressure sneaks up to begin with. And I have some issues with the parameters. Uh, you know, the American uh, Medical Association, in conjunction with the drug companies and so forth, tell you that you're anything above 120 on the top side and 80 on the bottom side is a pre or a pre-hypertensive state. Well, yeah, maybe, but it has to do with a lot of different things. Then when we start talking about the medications that everybody's on, uh, you know, from diuretics to beta blockers to ACE inhibitors and, you know, angiotensin uh, receptor blockers and calcium channel blockers and vasodilators, and it goes on and on and on and on, you really need to understand what they do and what you can do, more importantly, to make a difference so you can get off the medication, so you can make a difference in your health and your life because trust me being on these things forever only lead to other problems and other medications to solve the issues of the drugs that you're taking give me a call triple eight six three zero nine six two five this wednesday evening control high blood pressure without drugs Bryce Miller will be your presenter. All you need to do is call 703-698-7117. That's 703-698-7117. Tell our staff that you'd like to attend. So let's talk a little bit about this quirk, this blood pressure problem, because I know so many of you are on medications. Matter of fact, 
over a third of the United States adult population are, has high blood pressure. And only about 50% of you have it controlled. Does it mean that you have a problem? In many cases, you have a significant problem. In some situations, you have a mild problem. And some of you don't even know that you have a problem. So high blood pressure is the silent killer, as you know, Fifth Avenue Marketing would like to position it as. And it truly is. It's one of those things. If you do have high blood pressure and it's uncontrolled, then you, know, you could end up with something called death very quickly. And uh, worse than that, you could be an invalid for the rest of your life because of the stroke problems, the cardiovascular uh, relationship problems, and so forth. Uh, unfortunately, uh, the black community, people of color, have a increased risk of blood pressure and cardiovascular conditions than anybody else, any other uh, race. And there's some factors about that, and we can get into it a little bit on Wednesday evening if you join us. But nevertheless, high blood pressure uh, causes about 1,100 deaths a day, 1,100 deaths every day. And it costs the United States somewhere in the neighborhood of up to $50 billion a year. It's huge. We want to talk about controlling the deficit. Well, here's a place that we could be proactive and really make a difference. In Virginia, just the state of Virginia, we have about 31% of you that have high blood pressure problems. That's significant. And those are the ones that we know about. Those are the ones that are being reported. The problem is it's growing like all other functional medical conditions. Now, remember I said function. Functional medical conditions. What does that mean? That means that things are breaking down slowly. It hasn't yet caused pathology, but it's in route to do that. And unfortunately, the pathological considerations are heart disease and blood pressure problems that cause the arteries to break and bleed. And uh, But here's, here's the thing. I'm going to take you through some of the drugs, and we're going to talk about that and the side effects that, that happen because of it. But I want you to know that blood pressure problems are preventable. They don't need to be part of your life. But unfortunately, many of us say, oh, well, you know, we buy into the paradigm, take these pills for the rest of our lives. It's not okay. Uh, so, you know, let's talk about what happens. Why do we have high blood pressure problems, particularly more and more as modern times have expanded and more in Western civilization, you know, the United States, Canada, this type uh, part of the world than any place else? Well, it's really very traceable. It's very documentable. When we're talking about 75 to over 80 million people in this country having high blood pressure, that exceeds one in three, right? So we need to know what blood pressure really means and, and what is the, uh, the predispositions, if you will. You, know, you go into a website and you're going to say, well, predisposition is prehypertension. Yeah, okay, that's fine, but what caused the prehypertension to begin with? And they'll talk about diabetes. Great. So what do we do to do that? But let's get into things like smoking. You know, how many of you still smoke? Fortunately, more and more people are not smoking, but how many of you have smoked, are exposed to smoke, you know, have been exposed to all kinds of fumes, things that you're inhaling on a regular basis, things that are going to cause an inflammatory response in the blood vessels? Some of you don't get any physical activity. You walk from where you are to the car, and some of you are at home all the time, and you don't even get up to change the television. You use the remote. You know, we've talked repetitively that the life-saving exercise is walking. If you did nothing more than walk a couple miles every day, you'd decrease your risk of dying from any disease by 50%. Now, that's not me telling you that. That's statistics. So how many of you, I want you to know, as I'm going through this, I want you to do kind of a, a health check. Do I do this? Do I not do this? Uh, a lot of you are eating foods that are really, really high in sodium. Any of your packaged foods, anything that's packaged, I promise you, has sodium in it. You know, a patient came in and said, you know, every time I eat something that has salt in it, I'm coughing. Guess what? You're allergic to the salt. Yeah, that's right. You can be allergic to salt as well as salt causing problems. How many of you are overweight? You know, and remember I've said many times that weight is not the issue. It's the composition of the weight that's the problem. You know, if you're, a, and I'm making numbers up, if you're a guy, if you're 180 pounds and your body fat is less than 15%, the chances are that you're probably in pretty good shape. You know, ladies, if, you know, if you're 135, 140 pounds and your body fat is under 23%, chances are that your body fat is pretty good. And, you know, the slimmer, the better relative to body fat, not necessarily weight. It's like, you know, what weighs more? 
a, a million pounds of iron or a million pounds of feathers? Well, the truth of it is they weigh the same, right? The composition is different because the density of the element is different. So it's not necessarily the weight, but it's the things that make that weight up. You know, are you a drinker? Do you drink too much alcohol? You get into the, the websites and say, well, one glass of this and two glasses of this and so forth. And, you know, if you stick to that, you're pretty good. But some of you are allergic to certain types of alcohol as well. The liver can't help uh, or handle the breakdown. There's phases to liver clearing. And what I mean by that is in, if, you, if you think of phases like colanders, a colander is, you know, screen to kind of filter things out. Well, each phase of the liver filters certain things and then acts upon it as well. And the first phase of clearing in the liver has to do with alcohol uh, denaturization, the breakdown of, of alcohol so it doesn't bother your body and cause problems, right? So if you have a high blood pressure problem, we need to do an inventory check and things that you can do something about. You know, do you associate with people who are slugs? I mean, you know, do you, do you hang out and do nothing all day long? Do you get together and just kind of sit and then, you know, let's have our toddy, let's have an afternoon uh, sugar, snacky type of whatever, and, you know, that is your exercise for the day. Well, I can promise you, you're going to have a, hot, a lot more than just cardiovascular problems. The diabetes is going to kick in, and you're going to see all kinds of things begin to react. But then you go to the doc and he says, oh my God, you have high blood pressure. And then they put you on, you know, the medications, then they put you on a statin, then they put you on aspirin, then they put you on all those things that are known to make things worse. Do they drop the blood pressure? Sometimes. Sometimes they do and sometimes they don't. Number here is 888-630-9625. That's 888 This Wednesday evening, we're going to be doing a program at the Rizal Center for Healing on controlling high blood pressure without medications. Dr. Bryce Miller will be your presenter. 7 p.m. All you need to do is call 703-698-7117. That's 703-698-7117 to register for that class. I've got several of you on the line. We're going to get to your phone calls in a second, but I want to talk to you a little bit. I want to start getting into some of these medications and you, you know you go to your doctor and say well we have it under control we're going to keep you on this medication and you know the majority of blood pressure problems are fluid retention issues but the problem is is that they're going way downstream to fix the problem instead of going upstream to find out where it started so fluid retention has to do with our food that we're eating but it also has to do with the stress reaction to our fight flight system the adrenal glands you know those guys we talk about all the time they sit on top of the kidneys and they put out adrenaline and they put out all kinds of other hormones that help your body react but they also put out diuretics and to decrease the fluid retention within the body. That's that whole cortisol loop that we've talked about so many times. So what happens is that you go in and the doc, first thing he's going to do is going to put you on some sort of diuretic. So, well, that drops the sodium and the potassium. Now, with a diuretic and you're getting rid of all this fluid, your potassium level goes down substantially as well. Even the ones that they t say are potassium-sparing drugs, the problem is, and you say, well, what's wrong with that? Well, now you get into the arrhythmias of the heart because when, the, when you don't have enough potassium, your heart can't contract and beat properly. You get into muscle wasting and fatigue, and you, you just have no energy whatsoever. You're too pooped to participate. There's nothing that you can do. done. That's a diuretic. That's what happens when you lose potassium. When you get into these calcium channel blockers, the reason they use the calcium channel blockers is simply this. When you're taking calcium that is unopposed, meaning that it doesn't have other minerals to balance it, it causes the arteries to be tense and tight. And so subsequently, because of that tenseness and that tightness, the blood pressure goes up because it has to contract harder, if you will, because of this calcium barrier, this tent tetany, if you will, in the muscle to be able to push the blood through. So they go in and they do the calcium channel blockers. They stop the calcium from going into the receptor site thinking that that will relax the muscles. Well, the problem is it does that to all kinds of muscles throughout the body as well. And you need calcium, but it needs to be a combined with things like lots of magnesium. It needs to be combined with, you know, different types of minerals to make it work. We're going to get into a lot more of that. We're coming up to a break. And, you know, this blood pressure thing is a real problem, and we're going to clear it up for you this Wednesday evening. But you're listening to Dr. Tom Rizal live. I am broadcasting from the YMCA in Reston. Don't go away. We have some exciting things to talk about, not only where we're at, but coming up. See you in a minute.
Welcome back, everybody. This is Dr. Tom Rizal. You're listening to Dr. Tom Rizal live. No, I am not in studio. I am in Reston at the YMCA Fairfax County Reston facility. What an amazing place. I'm at home. This is where I grew up. I, we have a segment, and I would like to take the opportunity and privilege the pleasure of interviewing the Assistant Director of Membership, Joan Anderson. Welcome, Joan. Welcome to you as well. Thanks for coming out to see us today. Oh, this is fun. You have no idea how, how enjoyable this is to come back into the facility after you know, way too many years. I'm, my life takes me all over the place. But, Joan, this is amazing. This is so different than what I grew up in. And you have so many things going on here. Tell us a little bit about the facility. Well, we are the only full-service uh, family-oriented facility for YMCA in Fairfax County. We have a complete wellness floor aquatics department. We provide child care and children's programs all year round. Oh my gosh. You've got something going on now, currently. I walked in and I see all these banners around and, and like anything else, you're trying to get people involved and I notice things that you take people shopping and so forth and so on, but what's happening now? Well, actually we are getting ready this week to celebrate our six, sweet 16th birthday here in Reston. Oh. So we've been, it's been our privilege to serve the Herndon, Reston, Greater Fairfax and Eastern Loudoun County community for you know the last 16 years and we're getting ready to have a big party this weekend that's this week for it that's amazing you do after school things too for kids right yes we do before and after school care through our school age child care program and we also have a part-time preschool in addition to our full-time preschool Joan uh, fa- you mentioned families so you're dedicated not only to kids like I was growing up and you know hung out constantly but uh, what do you do to join families, to bring them in as a unit? Well, we try and have all sorts of different engagement activities and events throughout the, uh, throughout the year that, you know, just really are a lot of fun and, and everybody wants to come in and be a part of. And we have a lot of different program offerings for the children through youth sports programs, aquatics programs. Probably most people learned how to swim at the YMCA, and that's still the way it is today. That's right. It, you know, I, in those days, you just threw you in, but I'm sure it's much more sophisticated than that now. Joan, I noticed that you have a, uh, something that we encourage to. It's, it's uh, uh, learn how to shop. And you're inviting people to go to uh, one of the local stores with you, and you're going to tell, tell us about that. That's kind of interesting. Yes, actually, we are very fortunate to have on our staff a registered dietitian, and every month she chooses a local grocery store, and we have little outings, which are free to our members and the community to come along. And what Ashley does is she takes them around, she gives them a map of the grocery store, and shows them how to shop in a healthy manner. Also helps them figuring out if they're having trouble staying on a budget, how that they how they can feed their families on a budget and still remain very healthy. Now, Joan, do you have to be a member of the Y to participate in that? No, you do not. Oh, well, great. That's that's amazing. So listen, if you guys live in the, the Reston, Herndon area, Loudoun area, Come on over and check this out. You can, I think they've got one coming up on the 28th, and it starts at 7 o'clock. And, you know, uh, give the Y a call and see what you can do to go on that tour. That would be a beautiful thing to learn how to, you know, uh, eat well and keeping uh, the budget tight and controlled. Uh, it's, it's truly an amazing, amazing facility. Do you have uh, training programs uh, for people that want to begin exercise programs who have never done anything before? Yes, we do. We have all sorts of programs. Uh, we have uh, personal trainers here on staff who are, you know, it's their job to help every member answer any questions, make sure that they're doing their exercises properly and setting up the equipment in a safe manner. And if you choose to work with them on a one-on-one basis, we do have different programs available. Uh, we have some for new, pro, uh, new members coming in, a two-for-99 special. And then we also have our This is Personal special, uh, which is a number of sessions. I believe it's one-on-one sessions for $349 for six months. Mm-hmm. That's, that's not expensive. That's actually extremely, extremely reasonable. Joan, um, I noticed this month that you're trying to you know, bring people into this amazing facility. And I understand until the end of the month in September, there's, there's no registration there, fee. There is no registration fee. During the month of September, we are waiving that fee to try and encourage the community to get active and get involved before the cold winter months. And come on in here and use our facility and see all the things that we have to offer. 16 years, huh? 16 years and still going strong. That's, that's absolutely incredible. I mean, you have swimming, you have exercise, you have 
uh, learn how to eat. This is this is a great facility. I should you know uh, enjoy this and put my office on the back end of this. Absolutely, I mean, this, we would love to have you. This is like great. This yeah. is fantastic. We even We're, have an indoor track. We have over eighty some group exercise classes offered to our members every week. Plenty to choose from, from the most mild yoga to the most vigorous boot camps. We have a little bit of something for everybody. So if somebody wants to find out more about the facility, how do they do that? Uh, best thing to do is come in and visit us here in Reston, or you can give us a call at 703-742-8800. Give us that one more time. Uh, it's 703-742-8800. And you have a website that people can go to as well? Yes, it's www.ymcadc.org. Joan, I'm excited. I'm so glad you're here. Thanks for being here. Thank you for your time. I appreciate it very much. Thank you. We're broadcasting from the YMCA in Reston, and what an amazing facility this is. We're coming up to a break, unfortunately. We'll be right back after some very, very important information. Don't go away. Dr. Tom Rosell Live continues now on 105.9 FM and AM 630 WMAL. Welcome back, everybody. This is Dr. Tom Rosell. You're listening to Dr. Tom Rosell Live. No, I am not in studio, but I am in town. Where am I broadcasting from? Well, I'm broadcasting from the YMCA Fairfax County Reston facility. Amazing place. It's up here on Sunset Hills Road. Uh, I'm home. I grew up at the YMCA in Jamestown, New York. I mean, that's where I got my start. They threw me in the swimming pool and, you know, all those things that go along with that that craziness. But anyway, this is an amazing, amazing facility. had the pleasure of uh, talking for a minute with uh, Joan Anderson, Assistant Director of, of Membership for the YMCA. And, you know, it's it's a pleasure doing this for them. Having said that, we're talking about high blood pressure. We're talking about those things that can kill you. And unfortunately, even though many of you are medicated, the blood pressure problem continues to exist, and, it continu- and the side effects of the medications are even worse in many situations. This Wednesday evening, Dr. Bryce Miller will be your presenter at the Results Center for Healing, and he's going to talk about controlling high blood pressure without drugs. Wednesday, September 21st at 7 p.m., and if you'd like to attend, and I encourage you to do, if you're on any kind of medication for blood pressure, 703-698-7117. That's 703-698-7117. Remember, we have limited spacing, and once that's filled, blood pressure topic, any time that we've done in the past, is a full house. So call and schedule and make sure that you're there. Coming up soon, very, very soon, in October, on a Thursday evening, less then about, I think it's about four weeks away now, Ageless Health 2016. It's going to be done a little differently this year. It's going to be done at the Angelica Film Center at the Mosaic. And listen, you know, we're right off the National Capital Beltway, and we're in Merrifield, Virginia, is where this is going to be. And it's in theater setting this year. And it's, you know, normally we do this program all day long. This year it's going to be four hours. And we're trying a little different model, and we want to see how you like it, what your feedback is going to be. Fast, hard-hitting, 30-minute presentations. And we're going to try to give you things that you can take home and apply immediately, immediately. So join us, right? We'd love to have you. You can go online, go to rosellecare.com. That's R-O-S-E-L-L-E-C-A-R-E.com, rosellecare.com. And you can register there. There's a link that goes right into it. Or you can go to agelesshealth2016.com and register that way. If you'd like to call into the office and get data or tell, find out how to do that, same thing that you're going to register for this Wednesday evening's uh, program on high blood pressure, uh, 703-698-7117. Let's go to the phones. Bill, you've been extremely patient and waiting for a long time. How can I help you? Yeah, hi, doctor. Um, I have a question about a 30-year-old stepdaughter. She's okay. aging, overall in good health, um, and she keeps getting right, hives for unknown reasons. She's been to an allergist, dermatologist, an infectious disease doctor, primary care doctor. They can find nothing wrong with her. Some of the things that we've seen that have caused it have been uh, eating foods with fish sauce in it. And surprisingly, the other day she had a sausage for breakfast from Starbucks. That caused the... Um, bumps all over, and oyster sauce, and I think soy sauce. Um, I was wondering, you know, where do we go from here? Because this is driving her crazy. It's been going on for about six months now, and 
So, unfortunately, Bill, this is not an easy topic. There's a patient, there are patients who have huge problems with histamine. Some of them are very easy to take care of, and some of them are very, very involved, depending on it's an immune reaction condition. Uh, it can be as simple as identifying certain foods that are allergic and staying away from them 100% as you desensitize and heal and repair the system. Some of it is weakness in the fight-flight system, the adrenal glands. They put out our own steroids. And if we can't muster steroids as a defense mechanism, our own, not ones that we take externally, then we're going to be susceptible to many things from uh, airborne allergens, the, you know, the ragweed that's out right now, the spring patterns, the molds, the funguses, things like that that can cause these hives to occur. Uh, there are... There are things that need to be evaluated, and we do it from a functional medicine point of view. That's the elimination of finding out what foods are sensitive or chemistries or, or industrial solvents or any of these things. Find out if the, the capacity of the adrenal system is working. Liver function is critical. Liver has a lot to do with these uh, hive manifestations. Uh, that inflammatory reaction that we see on the skin surface actually is the body's trying to protect itself from something, and the whole point is to try to identify that. Uh, things that can be taken, I mean, you can do gentle things like eliminating uh, any kind of prepared food whatsoever, getting down to basic vegetables and basic foods that are organic, non-GMO, free range, and so forth, and don't combine a lot of things and see what the triggering mechanisms are. See if there's an environment that triggers that even more. Uh, vitamin C, high levels, meaning uh, taking, uh, as an adult, maybe three to 4,000 milligrams a day in divided dosages may begin to quiet that down. There are antihistamines that are natural antihistamine. There's uh, one, it's a derivative from uh, a liver enzyme called Yakatron. It's produced by Standard Process Laboratories. That helps. Uh, supporting adrenal function, uh, you know, with, with other types, sarsaparilla is a natural herbal preparation. In our office, we have a lot of different things that we use for these patients. But you can go online and check out histamine foods and start with avoiding all histamine foods and don't put anything that is a histaminic type of food in the diet. Other than that, the, uh, she has to be evaluated. She has to be looked at, you know, from our point of view. You've done the medical route. I would encourage you to do the natural route and see what can be done. You can make an appointment with our nutrition staff, particularly with Sue in the office. She's very, very well versed uh, on histaminic reactions. And uh, then she would refer in to uh, one of our functional docs to be able to evaluate her bill. Uh, in the short term, that's all I can tell you. I hope that's useful. You can uh, send me a note at rosellecare.com, and I'll get to it. And by the way, anybody who's, who's sent me notes in the last couple weeks, if I haven't got back to you, I promise you I will. I'm trying to get caught up. I've been away. I shut down for two weeks, and I beg your apology. Anyway, Bill, thank you very much. I appreciate your phone call. 888-630-9625. That's 888-630-9625. That's how you find us here and how you register for this Wednesday evening's program on controlling high blood pressure without drugs. 703-698-7117. And tell my staff that you'd like to be present. And as I said, we only have so much space and I hate to either put you in the hallway or tell you that, you know, we can't see you. So make sure you get that done, okay? We're broadcasting today from the YMCA in Reston. And, you know, this is a great facility. This is an amazing, amazing place. Uh, it's, it's, again, um, it's home for me as a young, young child. I grew up in the Y in Jamestown, New York, and you know, spent a lot of time, even when I went back and I first started in my, uh, my career in practice for the first eight and a half years, I spent a lot of time at the Y working out, and this facility is amazing. It's truly, truly an amazing place. Let's go to the phones. Bernice, long time no here. How you been? Oh, fine. Um, a while back, about maybe six months ago, I went and had a bone density test where they stick you, they lay you on this machine and take, you know, picture of your bones. And they said I had osteopenia starting at the hip and osteoporosis starting at the top of the spine. And um, I started doing eggshell calcium. And I had a pain before I went for the test in my hip. But anyway, uh, the pain went away as soon as I started doing eggshell calcium. And uh, I wanted to know, is that a good source of calcium? And um, if you boil the eggshells, do you also get the, the benefit of the membrane that um, also for the joints, for to build collagen? 
No, if you boil it beyond two minutes where it's a soft-boiled egg, then what you've done is the biotinase uh, is uh, going to uh, go to a place where it's not going to be effective anymore. So uh, you have to do it. If you're going to use eggs, which they're, they're a good source of many different things. Actually, an egg is a perfect protein as long as you don't overcook it. Uh, again, two minutes. Uh, some people don't like it like that because it's still a little runny, but that's the best way to eat it where the, the protein is more usable than, uh, than it would be otherwise. Um, using eggshell calcium, if it's prepared properly, is, and you have to make sure it's an organic egg, uh, can be very, very effective. But you want to, in addition to that, you want to make sure that you're getting adequate amounts of boron uh, in trace amounts. Vitamin D is critical, making sure that you're getting good amounts of magnesium in your system to transport even better. Uh, you have to make sure that your stomach is able to absorb calcium. And to do that, you have to have enough hydrochloric acid, or at least if, you, if you're deficient in hydrochloric acid, you need to take hydrochloric acid precursors like a betaine hydrochloride, which will help facilitate that. But here's the other piece, Bernice. Exercise, weight-resistant strength training exercise will cause an increased demand of the calcium in the bones and use this calcium even more so and begin to reverse the osteoporosis, osteopenic condition. You have to look at, you know, the different uh, supplements and medications and so forth. But the short answer is it's, for some people, eggshell calcium can work well. For some people, it doesn't work at all. Uh, you have to make sure that you incorporate those other things. But exercise, Bernice, is absolutely critical in doing this. You can't do one without the other because long term, you're not going to get the results that you need to get. The hip pain will start going away because you're beginning to supply minerals, not only calcium from that eggshell, but other minerals as well, which is going to cause the, uh, the joint to be better. So do those things. Let me know. And if I can help you, you know, uh, I'll give you some... Boron, uh, you can get it in trace minerals. Just go to a health food store and tell them that you want to supplement with organic trace minerals. And it has that as well as many other things that are necessary for calcium absorption. And it works very well. But check that out. Bernice, thanks for the call. Appreciate it. Good to talk to you. 888-630-9625. 888-630-9625. That's the number here. And how you find me when I'm not here. Go to rosellcare.com. That's R O S E L L E C A R E.com and send me a note. And I promise you I'll get back to you again. Been a little negligent the last few weeks simply because I've been out of town, but I promise I'll catch up with everybody this week and make sure that I answer all my emails. It's a little tough sometimes. It's the first time I've ever shut down when I've gone away. I mean, I've totally pulled the plug. Weird, different. You know, I was almost in shock. My wife was looking at me and she says, You're really not working. I said, Yeah, I know. So I went outside and we climbed the mountains in northern Italy and just walked and walked and walked and walked and, you know, probably calmed down. Stuff getting back into gear, but I think I'm back. I think I'm back. This Wednesday, no, this, uh, this, the 21st, Wednesday, 7 p.m., Bryce Miller. He's going to be talking about controlling high blood pressure. Let's talk a little bit more about that because so many of you are affected, over 30% of you, one in three. And we have all kinds of problems. You know, you're taking medications that everything from, as we talked about earlier, the calcium channel blockers to vasodilators. Uh, there's something called an angiotensin II receptor blocker. And that has to do with how the body handles certain types of incoming, if you will, that allows the arteries to relax. Some of them are, are blocked, so they widen the arteries. Those are ACE inhibitors. They, they widen the vessels. And sometimes they give combinations of these drugs. You know, you see all types of new drugs out there, and they're really combinations of things. They're old stuff. It works, but it need, needs something else, so they put the drugs together. Uh, it's not okay. And then they'll give you something to try to get the heart to relax and to fire, fire a little bit better. Uh, none of them answer the question why anything is happening to begin with. The why is the important part of it. So what we need to figure out is what in your lifestyle is stimulating your blood pressure to go up? What in your lifestyle is causing this blood pressure phenomena? Again, you know, the... American Medical Association, in conjunction with the drug uh, companies, are going to try to tell you that blood pressure above 120 is in a pre-hypertensive state on the top side, and the diastolic pressure, anything above 80 on the bottom side, is problematic. 
I'm not necessarily fully in agreement with all that because blood pressure varies from person to person. It's the bottom, it's the diastolic, the down number that's much more critical. The top level, you know, can be varied. Some of you have white coat syndrome. You know, we come in our office, those of your patients know that we take blood pressure in three different positions. We take it sitting. Then we take, have you lay down, and we take that again, and then we have you stand up, and we take it a third time. And it's, you know, we're smart enough to realize that the first time we take a blood pressure for any of our patients, sometimes subsequently after that, really doesn't mean a whole lot because you're new to our office, you're upset, you know, you probably had a wait for me, like many of you do, and thank you for not shooting me on a regular basis. But seriously, all kidding aside, uh, there's a lot of stress patterns that will cause blood pressure to shift. And so it's transient. It's the constancy. Now, let me tell you something about blood pressure, okay? So let me, and I'm making these numbers up. Let's say that you have a, a blood pressure of about 124 over 78 when you come in and you're sitting. That's not a big deal. And it's actually, I'll look at it and say, that's cool. That's not a problem. You know, no big deal. And we lay your patient down. Now, when you, we lay you down, your blood pressure should drop from whatever it was, whatever number. You can make up any number you want. It should drop. If it doesn't drop, in fact, that if it goes up, and that's the thing that we watch for, if it goes up, it tells us that we have a problem with kidney function. And if kidney is not filtering the way it's supposed to, it can force blood pressure up in a way that can be dangerous to you. So we have to look at that. And then when we stand you up, your blood pressure should go back up to what it was in a sitting position. And not drop and some of you it drops in one portion and it goes up in another where it's not supposed to so you have to look at all those things and then look at the history we're coming up to a break unfortunately and but we have a lot more to talk to you about don't go away you're listening to dr thomas all live we'll be right back 105.9 fm and am 630 wmal Welcome back, everybody. Dr. Tom Rizal here. Listen to Dr. Tom Rizal live. No, I'm not in studio. I'm at the YMCA in Reston, a place near and dear to my heart. I grew up in the Y in Jamestown, New York, and it taught me all my basic skill sets to begin with, from swimming to, you know, getting along with, with folks and, you know, having to stick up for myself and all those things. But this place is amazing. It's very family-oriented. It has... Uh, everything that you can possibly think of from, you know, exercise programs and people who can help you, dietary programs, and they have massage therapy, and they have uh, camps for kids, and they have uh, after-school care, and they have before-school care. Give a call. I mean, stop by this place. It's really, really a cool place to hang out. 888-630-9625. That's how you find us here on the program, and when we're not here, you go to rosellecare.com. And if you need to talk to one of my docs, you call the number that you're going to register for Dr. Bryce Miller's presentation on high blood pressure this Wednesday evening, the 21st, 7 p.m. You're going to call 703-698-7117 and tell the staff that you'd like to talk to one of the docs at Roselle Center and they will get back to you and answer your questions. That's the way it gets done. Listen, Coming up, we have Ages Health 2016. It's going to be at the Angelica Film Center. It's going to be a day that will rock you. I mean, a day that you're going to go home with more data, more information than you can possibly, possibly use. It's an opportunity to realize that you are not at effect, that even though you have certain gene makeups that said my father had it, my grandfather had it, my great-grandfather had it, my grandmother and so forth, you don't have to have it. 80% of all genetic modes are fixable, alterable, changeable. That genetic map is malleable, and it's malleable based on the environment. That's something called epigenetics, and the study has been there. We've noted it serendipitously and clinically for decades, but we know that not everybody is going to come down with the same thing just because a uh, great Aunt Tilly has it as well. You don't have to go there. There's a lot of things. It depends on you. How much do you really want to change? Are you willing to take control of your life? This is an opportunity. Ageless Health 2016. Be there. It's going to be limited spacing this year. We only have about 125 seats because we're doing it differently. We're to do a four-hour program. It's at the Angelica Film Center at the Mosaic in Merrifield. It's an opportunity to really understand how you can help yourself. So, 
Let us know how you like this program, too, because we're kind of tweaking it, doing it a little differently. After 16 years of presenting this program, it's time to kind of, you know, shift and change just a little bit, and we're thinking of adding some things on. But we need your input to do that. We need your commentary. Let's go to the phone. Stuart, thank you for holding. How can I help you, sir? Yes, how are you, doctor? Uh, I'm doing great, my friend. I'm a 29-year-old marathon runner. I'm also a vegetarian. I'm pretty active, very active. Uh, My wife's also a personal trainer, so I'm always at the gym. But last week I was feeling pretty tired, and I went to a, a family physician, and she actually just diagnosed me with atrial fibrillation, the heart arrhythmia. And I was in the ER for a little bit. A cardiologist saw me. He said that, you know, structurally my heart is fine, but I just wanted to talk to you about, you know, what should I do in terms of staying out of the AFib. Okay, so there's a lot of things you can do, and I don't have a lot of time, so I'm going to roll real quick with this, okay? And then you can get a hold of me through the website, and I'll give you some more information. If you're an athlete, the chances are that you've wasted a lot of minerals just by and the fact that you're working out. And, and being a vegan, you're missing a lot of things that you may need if you're not getting them at the levels that you should. But just having said that, get some sea salt and start putting sea salt on your food. And when you're working out, get a liter of water, Put six ounces of organic apple juice in it and an eighth of a teaspoon, one eighth of a teaspoon of sea salt. Fill the rest of it up with water and make sure you drink at least one of those while you're working out. Make sure you're extremely hydrated. The other things that are necessary is high levels of magnesium. Uh, as an athlete, you need at least minimum of 500 milligrams of magnesium. The glycinate form is the easiest to use on a day-to-day basis. More probably, you're not my patient, so I can't recommend it, but we've got to make sure that you're getting enough trace minerals, you're getting enough of uh, the salt and hydration and so forth. Do that first before you do anything else, and you may find. But give me a, you know, send me a note, and I'll help you walk through it. But try that, and I think that you're going to get it done. Unfortunately, we're coming up to a break with the end of the program. Way too short, as always. We're here every Sunday to give you the most intimate information we possibly can. Love you all. See you soon. Bye. Are you dental phobic? Do you neglect your dental health because of fear and anxiety? A beautiful smile begins with exceptional dental care, and you can trust in the expertise of Soft Touch Dental Care and Dr. Michael Chung. Soft Touch Dental Care is unlike any dentist office you'll ever experience. Their warm and welcoming environment is designed to soothe fears and anxiety the moment you arrive, and they're especially pleased to pamper their honored guest patients. Dr. Michael Chung is a professional and leading expert in all areas of comprehensive dentistry, including cosmetic, sedation, neuromuscular, TMJ, and implant dentistry. Offering... This is Dr. Tom Roselle, author of Ageless Health, Health is a Do-It-Yourself Program. My book, now also available in audio version, is a step-by-step program of how to take control of your health and wellness without drugs or needless surgery. You have the capacity to change your health and level of well-being. Take control of your health today and order Health Is a Do-It-Yourself Program. For more information and to order, please visit agelesshealthbook.com. That's agelesshealthbook.com. 